Well, welcome back. Day three. You have made it to day three of our devotions this week. Give yourself a whoop whoop in the chat. Some fire emojis. Uh, it's going to be a great day. Hey, we're going to dive straight in to this story that we've been going through in Numbers 22. Hopefully you are along with us on the journey. If you're just joining us today, go back and check out day one and two so you can get some context for what we're speaking into today. And uh, we're looking at Numbers 22, the story of Balaam and the star of this story, his talking donkey. So, yes, it's wild. I'm not thinking of Shrek. I mentioned that in This is the Bible. This is the real deal. It is in the Bible. It's a true story. So, I know before we start to bring some wisdom out of this, I know what you're thinking. There's two main questions that arise in this. Question number one is, is why is there a talking donkey in the Bible? And question number two that arose when I read this is, why did Balaam talk back to this talking donkey? (laughs) Like, he did it like seemingly there was no shock and this wasn't his first experience of a talking animal. So I'm not entirely sure if I can answer the second question, if I'm honest with you. I don't know why Balaam spoke back to him. I don't know why he wasn't more shook or shocked by the situation that he found himself in. That you can kind of take to God when you get to heaven, one of those mysterious things and take to him and go, why on earth did Balaam talk to this donkey? But question number one of why is there a talking donkey in the Bible? What's the point of it? Is there a point of it? Is it just a silly story? No, there is a great point to be pulled from this scripture. So lesson number two of from we can take from Balaam and his talking donkey, found in Numbers 22, is God can use anything. God can use anything. I know that's simple, but goodness me, it's true. God is not confined by the natural because he's a God of the supernatural. God is not confined by the boxes that we put things in, by the structures that humanity has found. He is not confined by even space or time and law because he is the creator of time and space and law and order. He can do anything with Anything, which means, yes, he can make a talky donk, a talk, a donkey talk to communicate with someone. How encouraging is it that God can use anything for his glory? In fact, I would say the entire Bible is full of donkey moments where God took something or someone who seemed ordinary or significant and used it for his glory. The Bible is full of ordinary people, ordinary people who have their own stuff, their own problems, ordinary people that he takes their lives and use it extraordinarily. My goodness me, you can look through the New Testament and the Old Testament and see hundreds of people that are used by God. They had no right to be used by him. They were ordinary people, but he took their normal, he took their natural and he used it supernaturally. God can use anything. And I'd encourage you to look through the Bible and see the pages of his track record where he's used ordinary people and ordinary situations. He takes people written off by society and uses them for his glory. He takes places that people said nothing good could come from that place. And he does something incredible and works miracles through it. Our God can use anything. Ephesians 3, 20 21 in the message says, God can do anything far more than you could ever imagine or guess. Or request in your wildest dreams. God can go above what we can even think or imagine. He can do and use anything. The reality is we often think the little we have isn't enough for God to use. But take a look at his track record. He even created humanity, mankind, us as humans out of dust. Out of the dust of the earth he created us. How incredible is that, that God can speak and stars and planets can come into being that were not there. He can use and take anything and use it for his glory. He can use you and he can use me to be a living testimony to his goodness. He can speak through us just like he used a donkey. If he can use a donkey to communicate, my goodness me, how much more can he use you and me in our every day life. So my question for you to pray into and think are over today is what have you got in your life that God can use for his glory? 
What have you got? What have you got in you? What can he do through you? What area can he use you to speak into? What can he use you to do? Because he can use anything. We've just got to lay it down to him as a living sacrifice and say, God, here it is. This is my little. Do what only you can do. He's not a God of the natural. He's a God of the supernatural. So I'd love you to go away and pray into that and think over that today.